as you can see from the weather outside, it is uh, perfect conditions for a spot of plein air painting. It's raining pretty solidly now for about 30 minutes. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> So here we are in the car, and uh, this is the weather forecast for where we're about to paint. Yeah. What road? <laughs> Absolutely throwing it down. So after a brief discussion, we both decided we're going to go and look for shelter. <laughs> As you say, at least it's not cold. It's about 12, 13 degrees, I think. But it is absolutely throwing it down. The Thames is very high. And uh, we haven't got a brolly. And we're under a tree <laughs> that's offering zero shelter. Got no leaves on it. If anything, the, the, the tree is making this damper. <laughs> Keep going, Johnny. Come on. Right. Never say die. My only trip to London this year. Okay, so I'm trying very, very hard and pretty much in vain to get paint to stick to pretty much saturated canvas. At this point, I'm hoping there might be something to salvage. It stick too it, it's quite tricky to get it to stick when it's, I've never painted it all right in this sort of, this much rain. So wet. I'm paddling here. I'm literally paddling in the water. <laughs> How you get on, Johnny? I can't get anything to stick. <laughs> okay. You're a brave soul. We just had some rowers come past and uh, I tried to get one of them on, but there is so much water on this board now, <laughs> it wouldn't stick. So uh, we're continuing in a very abstract um, theme. Let's get some of those balconies on. Because um, oil paint is obviously fairly waterproof, but uh, the, the backing board and there's just so much water that it's actually almost completely impossible, which is kind of fun in itself really, because um, it produces this wonderfully abstract thing. I'm absolutely paddling in water here really want that sort of brownie reflection really quite intense a little bit more brown in that there's our rubbers going past for uh, that's a four man is that a four man cox i don't know the terms oh, word Stand back just so you can see the true horror of the operation. John, sky's lightning over there, mate. It's going to stop raining soon. <laughs> oh my god, it's got heavier now. I can't get any colour to stick to the board. But it's fine. So, Jonathan is a fairly new painter. I think it's alright to say that, isn't it? Um, yeah. Whereas this is my profession. John's been painting with me now for probably three, four months on and off. And before that, how often had you painted? Uh, none since school, which was- Not since school. So you are very much ago. a brand new oil painter. Brand new this year. And you've pretty much just taken it up, painting outside in the harshest weather conditions without a studio. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think that's fairly admirable under any circumstances, but this is, this is extreme. <laughs> Best way to learn, I think. That's the chap I uh, painted down the other way. Fantastic. I 
can't get the oil to stick to the canvas, to the board. And uh, that's the hardest thing, I think. Is that influencing the way you paint, do you think? Uh, yes. Um, I think the hardest thing that I've got here is that I've never tried painting a bridge before. And um, I don't know if you can see the perspective, we're kind of almost we're halfway between side on and length on. And it's got arches and I've no idea how to paint the arches and get the perspective of that. I've never painted water this colour before. It's brown, it's green, it's grey and white, reflection from the sky, there's a bit of reflection from the boats as well, there's a million colours in there. But it's fun! <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> yeah, um... I'm hoping this will enforce some kind of bizarre abstract scenario. What I think will happen is I'll throw this board in a corner and never stare at it again. But you know, this is this is a learning experience and I'm trying to, trying to discount physical discomfort and logic and carry on painting regardless. Um, and as John has already pointed out, Painting the arches on a bridge in perspective is possibly the hardest thing to do anyway. And I didn't warn John about this before arriving, which makes me a cad and a bounder. Is he smiling? Never smiles. I'm happy inside. Let's try and get shot of it. <laughs> that is brilliant! <laughs> Now, because I've got this barrier of water in between my paints, that means they're not mixing correctly either, which is possibly more of a challenge, actually. It's not actually that much shelter under this. Right, important update. Johnny has made an addition um, with a heroic suicidal slash of crimson for a, a London bus and, oh. and a barge. It was a um, a truck, a juggernaut. Okay, and and what do you think that's added to the painting? Well, I was hoping it was going to improve the perspective. And do you think it has? Um, no. I'm, I'm going to uh, attack this now with a palette knife because that can never be a bad idea. <laughs> Let's mix up some of that very bright green. We've got these um, luminous green parakeets everywhere and I've got the right green. <laughs> I might just drop a parakeet in this. London has parakeets. I've seen them before and it's always a shock. Because Brighton doesn't have parakeets. Wow. Biggest blob of water just landed on. Yeah. We should have waited, John. Stop raining, yeah? What are your thoughts, Johnny? Thoroughly enjoyed every second of this. Um, got the perspective a bit better. I enjoyed painting the water a lot more than uh, um, it looks. Um, yeah, I need to work on sketching um, and learn how to draw perspective and then I could have got that bridge in much quicker. Uh, it stopped raining, it's a lot easier now, but I've just thoroughly enjoyed every second of this. I'm going to put a couple of finishing touches to it and uh, put it down to another good learning experience. My first ever painting in London, in the rain, of the River Thames, 
it's rubbish, but I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. Let's have a bit of a close up. Talk us through the masterpiece, Johnny. So, I found it really difficult to work out how to do the perspective for the bridge. Uh, I found it really difficult how to do the water, um, but I just painted what I saw. And um, there was a lot, there was a lot of light on the water. Um, it was so muddy brown, um, and I just captured some of the light. I haven't finished painting the bridge here, but I'm just going to leave it. The building's really difficult, lots going on there, really complex. Um, I've got a truck there. I enjoyed putting the lights, I think they're called. Um, I gave up on that barge over there, but what I wanted to do was just capture that we were painting in the rain. I couldn't really see what I was doing because my glasses were steamed up and covered <laughs> in water. My palette was covered in water and yeah, just really enjoyed it painting Tony. Uh, this has been a fight with rainwater. Um, initially nothing stuck to the canvas. I seem to have set up in a much wetter place than John. Um, so I brushed it all on where I thought things should go and it was very dull and most of it wouldn't stick. And in the end, in desperation, I turned to the palette knife and stuck bigger lumps of paint to it. And um, yeah, some nice ideas came out of it, but mostly that was a fight, if I'm honest. Just to give you an idea of quite how much water we've been painting in. <laughs> that's the rainfall that's... Well, thank you for joining us on this uh, painting expedition. I hope we've told a tale and uh, see you next time.